This is RM Recaps here. In this video, I will recap one of the drama movies from 1997, titled, Lolita. So without further ado, let's get started. The movie starts in 1950s America, where a man named Humber is driving a car and telling himself that Lolita is his life and his love. Then, in a flashback, we see Humbert as a 14-year-old boy living in France with his lovely girlfriend Annabelle. Even at the age of 14, they both love one another and engage in some sexual activity. But that doesn't last long because Annabelle passes away from a disease, and that incident had such a significant impact on Humbert that he hasn't bounced back from it yet. He is now a middle-aged man, 40 years old, and he works as a teacher. He received a job offer from the Beardsley College in Ohio, America. Humbert decides to travel to America about three months after starting his job at the college because he wants to spend his summers there. He gets to visit a home he could rent out there thanks to his recommendation. A widow named Charlotte Hayes is the owner of the property. As soon as he walks inside, he decides not to live in the small, messy house. However, when Mrs. Hayes takes him to the lawn, he discovers her teenage daughter, Lolita, lying there with water sprinkled on her, exposing her undergarment. Humbert is unable to take his eyes off of her because he is daydreaming about his lost love, Annabelle, and Lolita. He receives a smile from Lolita as well. Now, Humbert has changed his mind and decided to stay in this house at any cost. Humbert is now sharing a home with Lolita and Mrs. Hayes. He constantly peeks at Lolita, and even though she's aware of it, she doesn't give a damn, letting him realize that she is also interested in him. Although Lolita is only 14 years old, she is matured enough mentally beyond her years. One day, Lolita reaches Humbert while he is working. She then talks to him and then sits on his lap as if nothing is wrong. It's yet another sign for Humbert that Lolita likes him. Lolita's mother, Mrs. Hayes, is drawn to Humbert as well and wants to wed him, but she is hesitant because of Lolita. While taking a stroll with Humbert, Mrs. Hayes informs him that Lolita will be sent to a summer camp to encourage her to participate in extracurricular activities. Humbert is unhappy about that choice because if she goes, he will be separated from her. He argues against Mrs. Hayes' sending her to summer camp, but she claims to have already enrolled Lolita in a summer camp and paid for it, so she has to join. Although Lolita has no desire to join the camp, she is forced to do so because of her mother's persistent arguments. The time comes for Lolita to depart for camp. That morning, Humbert wakes up later than usual, and just as he is about to leave, he dashes to the window of his room and stands there to watch her. Lolita notices him staring at her as well. She exits the car and quickly enters the house. She runs to Humbert's room, jumps up on him to hug him, and then gives him a passionate kiss before leaving. Humbert receives a letter from Mrs. Hayes the day after Lolita leaves the house. She confessed her love for him in a letter, along with a marriage proposal. He initially rejects her because Annabelle is his only love, but it is impossible to ignore the fact that he is drawn to Lolita as well. To live close to Lolita, he chooses to marry Mrs. Hayes. They got married, but Humbert is not the least bit interested in Mrs. Hayes and makes efforts to avoid having a sexual relationship with her. Because Lolita is his only interest, he sometimes gives Mrs. Hayes sleeping tablets to avoid having sex with her. Mrs. Hayes has no idea why Humbert married her, or what is happening between Humbert and Lolita. But one day, while cleaning the house, she discovers Humbert's private diary. After reading it, she realizes that Humbert is nothing more than a pervert, who got married to her only for Lolita. She also discovers some peculiar words for her in his diary. She then tells Humbert that she now understands why he married her. Humbert tries to calm her down, but she doesn't. When she storms out of the house to post a letter, a car hits her, killing her instantly. Humbert is saddened by the news of her passing, but not overly so, because Lolita is now just a step away. Lolita's camp has ended. Humbert goes to pick her up from camp. Humbert falls in love with Lolita once more after seeing her for the first time in a long while. She's aware that her mother and Humbert have married, and that he is now her father, who she calls him dad, and expresses her gratitude to him for being her father. While Humbert is driving, Lolita begins to change clothes in the passenger seat. He starts to spy on her through the car mirror because he's a man and can't control his thirst. After changing, Lolita returns to the front seat to sit next to Humbert. She says to Humbert that she knows he doesn't love her since he hasn't kissed her. When Humbert hears this, he moves forward to start kissing her in the car. They are both stopped by a police car, which questions them about any suspicious people or vehicles. Humbert informs Lolita that they will be staying in hotels for a few days due to unforeseen circumstances. Lolita suggests that instead of staying in the same hotel, they travel throughout America and stay in different hotels. They decide to stay in a hotel while on their tour. While Humbert is at reception for some paperwork, Lolita waddles over like an animal to a pet dog and starts playing with it. The wealthy dog owner then tells Lolita that the dog never enjoys the company of anyone else except him, and she is the second person the dog is decent with. He even introduces himself as Claire Quilty and praises Lolita's beauty. When Humbert calls her, she leaves Quilty with a sneaky smile and goes to Humbert. 
Humbert informs Lolita that they must share a room because of a lack of money. He then assists Lolita in removing her shoes and socks, and their romantic relationship begins to heat up and is on the verge of becoming sexual. People see them as father and daughter, but in the room, they act like a couple, sharing everything. After some time in the room, Humbert goes outside to get some fresh air, where he meets Goldie. Goldie inquires about his relationship with Lolita, to which he responds that she is his stepdaughter, and her mother has died. Goldie then extends him a dinner invitation, which he declines, because he believes he is a police detective investigating Mrs. Hayes' death. They leave the hotel the next day and continue their journey. When they stop at a gas station, Lolita asks Humbert for a few coins so she can call her mother. Humbert now has no choice but to inform Lolita that her mother died in an accident. When Lolita learns of her mother's passing, she groans in remembrance of her. At the hotel, she refuses to let Humbert enter the room and continues to cry for her mother. After blubbering alone in the room, she approaches Humbert and lies next to him. He comforts her by giving her a hug and promising that he will never abandon her. They continue on their journey and stay in different hotels. Eventually, they arrive in Ohio, where Lolita enrolls as a student, and Humbert settles in as a teacher at Beardsley College. Humbert is too insecure for Lolita because the school has a co-educational system and promotes screenplays with girls and boys mixed together. And most importantly, they encourage students to date one another so they can get to know each other. This will help them in the future if they marry each other. After a few days of school, Lolita asks Humbert for approval to participate in a screenplay, but he refuses. Then, Lolita starts to seduce him and tells him that if he lets her take part in screenplays, they will do more things like this. Humbert, the pervert, permitted her to participate. The following day, Humbert visits her at the auditorium, where she is rehearsing as a witch for the play. From there, he learns that the screenplay's organizer is Quilty, the man he met at the hotel. He's worried about whether it was just a coincidence or something more serious, but he can't do anything against Quilty. Then, back at his house, Humbert screams at Lolita saying that he believes her friend Mona knows something about their relationship. She denies it, stomping her feet on the table. Humbert smacked her feet off the table. This infuriates Lolita, and their argument heats up. She tells Humbert that she's earned enough money from plays to be able to leave, and that if he continues to be rude, she will leave. Hearing this, Humbert loses control and slaps her across the face. This irritates her, so she yells at him that he murdered her mother. She then walks out of the room, sobbing, and runs away from him, calling him a murderer. Humbert pursues her and tries to calm her down, but she grabs a bicycle and flees. Humbert keeps looking for her and eventually finds her in a store. He apologizes to Lolita and offers her a tour of wherever she wants to go. Lolita agrees and they leave the hotel the very next day. On the road trip, Humbert notices a suspicious car following them and believes he is a detective. He instructs Lolita to take down the car's license number. They arrive at a shop and Humbert enters to purchase some sunglasses. Outside, he notices a strange man wearing a hat conversing with Lolita. He rushes outside to see who it is, but the man has already left. He asks Lolita about that guy, to which she responds that he was just asking her about some addresses. They continue on their journey, and Humbert notices that someone is following them by switching cars. They decide to spend a few days in a hotel. Humbert goes out to get some household items from a supermarket, and when he returns, he notices the same car outside his hotel, and begins spying on it from his window. Lolita notices him doing so, and gives him a witty smile. Humbert notices her tangled hair and lipstick all over her face. Humbert then grabs her in rage and asks her who she has kissed, but she starts laughing at him because he is too insecure for her. Humbert loses control and bursts into tears. A heavy storm wakes Humbert up at night. He becomes terrified and begins to think about strange things. But after washing his face, he regains his senses but remains terrified. So he pulls out his gun but finds nobody. That night, he and Lolita leave the hotel to look for another. They finally find another guest house. The house owner's hands over the keys, but Humbert notices Lolita shivering with cold and decides to take her to a nearby hospital first. The doctor admits Lolita for one night and orders Humbert to leave because he is not permitted to stay with the patient. As a result, he is compelled to leave. The following day, Humbert calls the hospital to inquire about picking up Lolita. The nurse informs him that she has been diagnosed with no viral infection and has left the hospital with her uncle early in the morning. At first, Humbert believed that the nurse had mistaken Lolita for somebody else, but when he went to the hospital to check, he couldn't believe what he saw. Lolita wasn't there. He searched all nearby hotels for her, but all he found was the same handwriting signature with a different name in each hotel they stayed in during their journey. He is certain that the man who was following them is behind this, but he has no idea who he is. He makes every effort to find Lolita, but is ultimately unsuccessful and decides to return to Ohio. Three years later, Humbert receives a letter beginning with, Dear Dad, 
He immediately recognizes that it is for Malika. She mentions in her letter that she's now married and pregnant. She adds that their financial situation has deteriorated and that she requires financial support. Herbert becomes emotional after reading the letter and decides to pay her a visit. He knocks and Lolita opens the door. She is no longer 14 year old Lolita. She's now a pregnant woman who wears glasses. She greets Humbert as a daughter and gives him a lovely smile. Then, she invites him into her home. The moment Humbert sees her husband, he immediately realizes that he is not the man who is pursuing them because he is too young and the other man is almost his age. He asks Lolita who picked her up from the hospital. She tells him that the man was cruelty. He has taken her to his mansion. She goes on to say that he has a porn director who kidnaps teenage girls of her age to use in her porn videos, but she manages to escape his mansion. Then, she told Humbert that she was embarrassed by her behavior and decided not to contact him again. But due to some financial issues, she had to contact him. Humbert looks at her in love and invites her back to his home, but she refuses, stating that she will now live here with her husband. Humbert, who has yet again lost his love, hands her an envelope containing $4,000 with a smiling face. He becomes emotional as she thanks him for the money. As Humbert makes his way back to his car, he sees Lolita for the final time and imagines her as that little 14-year-old doll girl. He then leaves her house and goes to Quilty's mansion. When he arrives at Quilty's mansion, he asks him why he has ruined his and Lolita's lives. But the poor Quilty has forgotten who Lolita is because he has done this to so many girls. In a fit of rage, Humbert pulls out his gun and shoots Quilty several times, killing him on the spot. After that, hey, I hope you enjoyed the recap. Check out our channel for more videos like these. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and comment on how you found the video. See you soon.